Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd just pop on and do a little video. I haven't done a video <coughs> for coming up to a year. And uh, yeah, I thought I would just hop on and update you all with what's been going on here at Abatav. Um, we've had a bit of a roller coaster of a year, as some of you may know. Those of you who, who know us in real life, uh, we lost my sister last summer to cancer and that's been a really hard journey for us as a family. I mean as a family unit of uh, me, Gem and Emmy, but as a family as a whole as well, you know, my brothers and my mum and dad, it's been a really tough time and, and her partner and her kids. So we've just been spending time navigating that, navigating all the emotions that come with that. And I decided to put all of my business on hold until I felt strong enough to come back to it. And I feel like with the new year upon us and or the new year past and Imolk has just passed as well I'm starting to feel like I'm ready to start filming again uh, vlogging again <clears throat> and documenting our journey again um, and so I thought I would just hop on and do just a little video showing you the woods today. This is what the woods look like in, where are we? February, early February. I have to apologize about my phone camera. I'm aware that it is rubbish and I'm due an upgrade on my phone so I'm hoping to sort that out soon and I can get some slightly better quality images to you. Look, there's some fungus on there. So what else has been going on? As you can see we've not got very much further on with the veg garden which is supposed to be down there. We did put the polytunnel up at one stage along here, um, but then had a bit of an incident with a tree, <laughs> this one, which uh, some of it, half of it split off in a storm and almost totaled the polytunnel frame. Thank goodness we didn't have the skin on it. Um, it landed so close to the polytunnel frame, it was very worrying. It was within inches, really. So we actually sadly had to remove the cypress tree because it had become really dangerous and unstable in that storm. Um, this oak tree also came down as well, which was another really dangerous leaning oak tree. So that, that also came down. You can see its trunk lying down the bank there. Um, but work is resuming now down there and we're hoping to hopefully get the polytunnel up this year if we can. Yeah, sorry about the quality, the image quality is really bad, isn't it? You can see the side of the house there. So I've just climbed up from down there whilst I've been talking to you and now I'm level with the roof of the house. This is our hammock, which we forgot to take down we usually take it down in the autumn and we just totally forgot <clears throat> but I think it seems to be weathering okay. 
Sorry about the wobbly camera. Um, another big thing that happened this year is that we got a puppy. You can see puppy up there. Hello, Bella. This is Bella, Border Collie. She's somewhere between nine and ten months old. She is very active, as Border Collies are. I'm just going to throw her ball for her. You ready, Bella? <laughs> Good girl. Are you ready? Come then. Go get it. She loves the woods. I thought I would try and combine this uh, video with a, a, a dog running around. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> if she's too barky, I might have to stop filming. Bring it here, Bella. She's a sweetie and I'll do a video at some point showing you all the little tricks we've taught her because she's so intelligent and so quick that she uh, gets the hang of tricks very quickly so she's quite good fun to train that was a rubbish throw ah you know why it's because this tennis ball split in half what do they say bad work when always blames his tools <laughs> Maybe I'm just a rubbish throw, eh, Bella? <laughs> Drop it then. That's it. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's that's disintegrated. Let's get a fresh one. So, um, what else do I want to say? I've got so much to update you on in the forest with, you know, what's going on with all the trees, all of the. Holly is looking really spectacular. You can see a baby holly tree there. All the catkins out on the hazel, which I don't think you can see actually. But it's. Hmm. You might be able to just make out the hazel catkins there. Tricky to see. The chickens are doing really well. They've had a long period where they've not laid. Um, so they've had a really good rest over winter. But they're just starting to lay again now, uh, now that the days are starting to get a bit longer. Bella, bring it here. Bring it here. Good girl. Um, Peanut the cockerel is still doing really well. He's looking after his hens beautifully. And... Um, I have been putting a lot of my energy into creative endeavours, so I've got lots of creative things to show you um, over the next few weeks, hopefully. But I am going to just take things slowly, so we'll see how I do. Um, hopefully you can just forgive me for not posting as regularly as I used to, um, and I'll post when I can and update when I feel able to and then I might have to take breaks every now and again as I feel called to <laughs> but did you find it well done Bella and yeah I hope you're all well in times are still a little crazy I know and things are tumultuous in the world it's been tricky times for us all and I just hope that you're all staying safe staying well staying happy and light and enjoying nature and the outdoors wherever you can and I'll be back with some more videos and updates I'll be starting to post to the Facebook page and the Instagram page again and hopefully uploading some YouTube videos as well. So I think that's all for today. Look at this beautiful secret little place in here. And me and Emmy find them all over the woods and we call them gnome homes. The little gnomes live in there, the little fairy homes. There's just so many little secret hidey holes and magical places in these woods they're absolutely magical there's another one up there let me show you this one before I before I go because this one's quite special 
<laughs> okay, this one. Isn't that amazing? It goes back quite far. Look at that. Now, if I was a gnome or a fairy, I would certainly live in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just brilliant. They always remind me of Brambley Hedge, these trees. You know the, the books by Jill Barclay, Brambley Hedge? Oh, I love, me and Emmy read those books almost every night before, when we're going to bed. She loves them, and so do I. They're so nourishing, you know, such lovely stories. And these trees always remind me of Brambley Hedge. Hello, Bella. You ready for a ball? Go on then. Go on then. Over there. Okay, that's it from me and Bella today. Enjoy your day. Sending lots of love. Bye-bye.